This week's show is brought to you by The Dance Studio of Tupelo And Sprint Print And Scarlet's Donuts This week on WTHS we are taking a look at the new Mississippi State flag flying over our school district and checking in on structure as they work hard to prepare for upcoming events. Welcome back to another episode of WTHS News, I'm Mary Allen Wolf. On January 11th, the newly voted on design featuring our state flower, the Magnolia, became the official Mississippi state flag. A few of Tupelo High School's administrators and staff members gathered to witness the raising of the new flag over our school for the very first time. This was a historical moment for our school and our state. Several Tupelo staff members said that they were inspired by this ceremony. In other news, Tupelo is excited about upcoming events regarding Structure. Structure is a band currently made up of 11 talented members who all bring different skills to the table. Sarah showcases this award-winning group. With Tupelo High School being heavily surrounded by the arts, they have created classes such as this one to bring to light the many creative opportunities life holds. This class is called Structure and includes a mix of contemporary and classic instruments. There's drums, guitars, and even strings. The students learn how to master their desired instrument, play famous pieces from history, and work together to successfully perform for audiences. Tom Henry is a second year structure student and he enjoys the more modern band approach than a typical high school marching band. We definitely play different types of music compared to the marching band and the marching band is more uniform. We have a chance to really express our musical abilities in a more unique way or a more individual way compared to a marching band. Senior Race Davis believes to be a good team player, you must practice hard and do your part to ensure success. Most of what keeps me motivated to practice is just the fact that I don't want to let any of the bandmates down. If I don't do my part, then it's just going to make a song sound bad or things aren't going to line up right and then they'd be disappointed in me, so I just really can't let that happen. Their instructor, Miss Smithy, has had a background in music for 14 years. She has gained knowledge of different techniques so she can teach the wide range of instruments in the group. Um, my earliest years, I took piano lessons from, from childhood through uh, college. I played saxophone, particularly when I was younger. That's what I did in the marching band and through college. Structure is not for beginners. All students have to be skilled on their instrument um, when they audition. You kind of already have to be pretty proficient at whatever your instrument is. So, you know, you have to have the skilled playing skills first and foremost. Our structure is basically a team and they have to work together. And um, so I, I look to be sure that I have students that will fit that also. Structure is an example of the diversity here at Tupelo High School. Make sure to check out their showcases February 26th and April 22nd through 23rd. I'm Sarah Bazell, WTHS News. Thanks, Sarah. These Tupelo High School students have been working really hard, and sports teams have as well. Both the boys and the girls soccer teams competed in the first round of playoffs. Alyssa has an update. Hey guys, it's Alyssa, back this week with another edition of Sports Media. On Tuesday, both of our soccer teams entered their first round of playoffs against Madison Central. 
The boys and the girls both entered their matches standing as one 6A division champions. Though after a long fought game and support from the student section, the games both ended in losses, bringing their season to an end. The girls score being 1-2 and the boys ending 1-3. On Friday of last week, our boys and girls basketball teams continued their season at home playing against DeSoto Central. With this being a division game, both teams had their records on the line. The girls team closed out the game with a win of 63-48, bringing their division record to 4-0. The boys came out of the game also with the win, having a similar score of 68-45, bringing them to a division record of 2-2. Moving on with their season, our basketball teams battled it out on Olive Branch's home court this past Tuesday. The girls ending with a close loss of 60-66, and the boys also coming out with a loss of 50-55. Today, both teams will be on the road going into their sixth division game against Lewisburg at 6 and 7.30. Make sure to check in on both teams' Twitters for the game results. With archery season in full swing, Ari takes a deeper look into how the team has had to adjust to the COVID-19 pandemic. Last year, the archery season was cut short due to COVID, but this year they have come back ready for the new season. We've been hosting some virtual matches and following CDC guidelines to uh, make sure we are socially distant and we of course wear masks and sanitize everything. We just create a Google Drive and we share it with the other coaches, upload our scores, they upload their scores, and then we just uh, compare. Although there have been many changes, they are determined to improve with every tournament. We are already shooting on average better than we did last year. Uh, our first match, which was the Lee County Tournament, we finished second to the defending state champ, Saltillo. That score was also the highest score that we've ever started the season with, too. So we, I expect them to, to get better with every match. Uh, I, I like to see our score go up every time we shoot. I'm Ari Jurgenti, WTHS News. Thanks for the update, Ari. Also, our archery team plays second in Tremont on Monday. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Sports Media. Make sure to check in next week for your results and updates. Thanks, Alyssa. Be sure to swing back to WTHS next week to get more sports updates as baseball and softball begin their spring seasons on Monday. On another note, Emerson takes us behind the mask as she introduces us to Tupelo High School's Teacher of the Year, Miss Sherry Chumley. Mrs. Sherry Chumley has been teaching at Tupelo High School for 10 years. She has taught many different subjects and classes during her time at Tupelo. In the past, she has taught all levels of English, but this year she teaches journalism. She also does the school yearbook, newspaper, and website along with teaching creative writing and ACT prep. There are a lot of things that I like about being a teacher. I think my favorite will depend on what's going on in my classroom right now. Mrs. Chumley enjoys everything about teaching. She loves seeing her students learn something new or figure something out. Watching their work go out into the world and hearing the feedback they receive is one of her favorite things about teaching. I'm very honored to receive that um, award this year. Because it has been such an interesting year, teachers have been working and teaching their hearts out. Ms. Chumley is honored to have her efforts recognized by her peers in district. And my students really inspire me every day. Students show up to her class on a daily basis ready and willing to learn. Sometimes I love seeing my students just learn something new or figure something out. Mrs. Chumley has a strong desire not only to teach them, but help her students explore the big world around them. Mrs. Chumley is grateful for her students, district, and receiving this award. This is Emerson Love with WTHS. Thanks, Emerson. Tupelo High School is honored to have so many hardworking and dedicated teachers such as Ms. Chumley. That's all we have for this week. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this week's edition of WTHS News and have a great weekend.